Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to hide drives or drive letters in File Explorer. So let's say you have a computer that has multiple drives like this one. I click on this PC. I got C, D, E, and G. And let's say you wanted to hide the E drive because it has sensitive information. It's a shared computer and you don't want other people even knowing it's there. So what you could do is a little registry edit here. So you click on start, search for reg edit, registry editor, say yes. And then you want to go to this path here, which you could copy and paste from the description. Right there in the address bar, press enter. So on this explorer key here, you want to create a new DWORD 32-bit value called no drives. So you could just you could right click here or you could right click in the blanks area here. New D word 32 bit value, paste it in. Now you want to open it up here, double click it. And since we're going to do the E drive, that's 16. So you want to make sure it's on decimal, not hexadecimal, because if you type in uh, 16 and hexadecimal, it'll still do something. It just might hide drives you don't want it to uh, hide. And also keep note too, if I type in 16 here and then I switch it, it's going to change it, so make sure you're on decimal first. Okay, so now that I got that, I need to restart Windows Explorer. So you could open Task Manager for Windows 11. You could right-click on the Start button, Task Manager, Windows 10, right-click on the Taskbar, Task Manager. And then you want to find Windows Explorer. It's usually near the bottom. Right-click on it, restart it. You'll see your icons disappear. Now when we open File Explorer, this PC, you can see the E drive is gone. So that's good. So what if we wanted to hide the D and the E? So what you could do for that, go back to your list here. So take the, the values for each. So 8 plus 16, that's 24. So let's go back to the registry here. Make sure you're on hex, regular decimal, not hexadecimal. 24. Okay. Now let's restart Windows Explorer again. If you see two of them, restarting one might not do it. You might have to do the other one. If your icons don't go away, then it's not the right one. Okay, so let's go back here. So now those two are gone. So to get things back, all you have to do, go back to no drives, set this to zero. Or if you don't plan on ever using it again, you could delete the key and then restart the computer or restart File Explorer. So what happens if you have more than one user on the computer? Let's go try that out by logging in as someone else here. Okay, so we're logged in as a different user here, logged in as Cindy. So if we go to File Explorer, this PC, you can see the D and the E drive are both hidden. So just keep in mind, this is just for File Explorer, you know, going to this PC. So if you open a command prompt... and you type in E, and then DIR for directory, then you could see that we could actually see the drive and the contents, and you could do whatever you want to do via the command line. So it's just hiding it from File Explorer. So that's basically what you got to keep in mind here. All right, so let me go back to the other user here. Okay, so back on the original user here. So once again, if you want to change this, you know, if we go back to zero here, Close this out, restart Windows Explorer again. Go to this PC, now we have all our drives back. So once again, I'll put this in the description, just navigate here, make the D word value, and uh, add your value to that D word value. Just make sure you're on decimal first before you enter the value. Restart Windows Explorer, and then you'll be able to hide your drives. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.